All right. All right. Um, I, this is the fourth part of Love Stories for Eight Shades of Gay, and I'm playing with my friend Alex, who is the guy who bought the game for me. What's up? So, yeah. All right, let's get this so, uh, underway. So we are the one we are on is defense attorney. <laughs> Okay. So Alvin just passed the bar on his way to his first actual real client. That client turns out to be the pinnacle of masculinity with ripped arms, a magnificent mane, and a big and a bit of a bulge near the groin of his prison <laughs> uniform. I like how that's a question. Yeah, a bit yeah. like what? What could that be? Is it like is the question the bulge or is the question his prison uniform? Uh, I could be the groin. Yeah, it was like near the groin of his right. prison uniform. What? Like what? What, what is could it? be bulging down right, there? Right, right. What is that? Or I hope we find out. I think we will. <laughs> so, <laughs> so all of these have like the people I played with. It kind of worked out perfectly. Like the first one was just me, um, mm -hmm. but the second one I played with Ant, which is dorm buddies, and we live together. <laughs> yep, that's and good. And Old Flames is me and Harry, and we're very old friends. Yeah. So me and you, I don't know how this one is going to relate, but I guess we'll figure it out. I guess it's because I'm the big pinnacle of masculinity and you're like the small, like, jackrabbit right. thing, you know? Right. In our, friend, in our friendship. Sure. I'll protect you, you know? Uh, yeah, sure, that could be it. But you might also <laughs> go to prison, so. That's that. It's pretty, that is accurate, actually, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. Let's see this. So there's multiple different paths. Oh, okay. The way this game like works. A... Choose your own adventure. Yeah. And my goal is to just get all of them. Just to uh -huh. see every outcome. You have five grand? Yep. You start off with five grand. Doesn't Can't really buy you much. You okay. Can, you can oh, get a wow. needle. It's One expensive. thing I learned the last time is that this isn't 10,000. This is 1,000. And I thought right. it went from like 5,000 to 10,000 to like 100,000. Yeah, the money. You know, why is the money symbol after the dollars, after the amount, too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But Very you can basically get $1,000, like, every couple of turns and just keep buying free moves. Okay, so. yeah. All right. All right, here we go. Do you want to read <laughs> for Sure, I can read some of it, yeah. Okay. Or do you want to yeah, Do you want to have characters? Like, you can be the, uh, the or, uh, well, you need a narrator, right? Yes, we do need a narrator. Um, so it will read everything. Yeah, we or someone, we're reading it. We could we could do, um, one person could do narration, and then someone else can be a character, and another person could be like a character. Oh my god! Okay. If we don't, if you don't want to read it, we don't have to. But that's what I did that's with Harry. Fine. He kind of upped the game. Oh yeah, we'll do so, that. Okay, I'll. Uh, so. I can be the narrator for this. Okay. Alvin makes it through security and into the meeting room five minutes before noon. As soon as the door shuts behind him, he sits in the nearest chair and fumbles with his briefcase. After opening it, he takes out a stack of papers and starts skimming through them again. All right, so what kind of animal do you think Alvin is? He looks, I guess he's a fox, right? Like a yeah, fennec he, fox, maybe? Yeah, like with yeah. Big ears, yeah. Okay. I get that. Okay. So Marcus. Marcus is a huge buff lion who worked as a bouncer. He has connections with known felons and is generally regarded as intimidating by those he worked with. And he was recently arrested for tax fraud. Do you think in this world, like, the they all get along? You know, like, lions don't eat foxes in this universe, like... That's a, it's a good question because in the last one, they went to the beach and there were still fish in the water and they weren't humanized fish. They were just normal fish. Yeah. I'm wondering where, where it starts and ends. Like, does it have right. to have fur in order to be sentient? I think that's, I think that's the conclusion is that this is a furry universe. Okay. And so all the furry animals work together as if they were humans, regardless right. of like their species. Right, they're right, exactly. But scaly okay. animals, insects, those are all how they are in our world. Okay, yes, because there's no fur. Yeah. So this guy got arrested for tax fraud. 
Alvin clung to that fact to calm himself down, even though the photo of him was scary, and Alvin wasn't used to being anywhere near a prison. He still has hope that it will go well. Alvin does his best to imagine Marcus as a regular guy with some tax problems. It's kind of what he is, right? I mean, he yeah, he went to prison for tax fraud. It's not like he killed anybody. No, it's definitely a white collar crime. Yeah. Like he's he even even though he's the bouncer, I expect him to get like accidentally killed someone with his fists or something. Not right. like right. He's a lion. Tax fraud. So yeah, I think oh, he can, a lion. He can yeah. easily kill somebody with his absolutely yeah. His boss. Okay. Alvin says under his breath, I guess I'll be Alvin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing to worry about. Just have to ask a non-violent, non-prosecuted man about their tax situation. Establish and confirm some facts and do some paperwork. I know my way around tax law. This should be a breeze. <laughs> he flips another, another page and looks more closely at another one of the photos he had skimmed the day before. Uh-oh. It's of Marcus outside the nightclub he worked at. But this time he notices that Marcus was groping the asses of two smiling fox men about his age in casual attire. That seems like sexual harassment. It like, does. That, like, yeah. Also, that's... he says they're fox men. Um, Not fox women, yeah. Yeah, but they're still using man as like a, a word to describe people, which I always thought was tied to like human yeah, I mean, definitely, it, it's tied to humans. Yeah, it's not like you'd say like my cat's a man, right? Like he's a male, you know, yeah, or male. female. Yeah, that's but they say a fox men. Yeah. I wonder if they're aware of humans, if humans exist at all. I don't world. think so. These they are kind of the humans, like right, right. Did he have a thing for them? Alvin hopes Marcus knew that finaling the defense attorney was a bad idea. But Marcus looks sane enough, and anyone sane knows not to cross their lawyer when their freedom depends on it. Alvin flipped through the last of the documents. The last page had a photo that he was about to ignore before seeing someone familiar in the background. Uh-oh. Is that my boss? What was he doing at that nightclub? I didn't know he went to those. Alvin starts to sweat with nervousness. <laughs> He would he would stick his tongue out to sweat, right? Or like sweat through his yeah, nose. Yeah, because he'd have to he have to lose some heat. Yeah. But he's nervous now. His boss is at a nightclub. That's apparently scandalous, I guess. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't go to nightclubs. No, what? <laughs> okay, calm down. A lot of people go to those clubs. It's no All big right, deal. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Finally he finishes skimming the packet and puts it aside. Okay, don't be afraid of him. I'm the one in charge here. He needs me to get him out of this. He'll be perfectly cooperative and we'll be good friends by the end of today. Oh, they'll be good friends, all right. <laughs> <laughs> he watches the door and he hears uh, talking behind it. The door on the other end of the room opens and through it comes a behemoth of a lion. Well over six feet tall, he walks into the room with a confident stride as the door shuts behind him. Alvin freezes as soon as he realizes how big the height disparity between him and Marcus really is. And Marcus isn't just big. He's the pinnacle of masculinity. Yeah. With ripped arms, magnificent mane, and a bit of a bulge near the groin of his prison uniform. There's the teaser. There it is. Yep. We're now beyond the teaser. He takes two more steps and stands in front of Alvin and folds his arms. I like how it's a gray screen. Like, this is all in suspense. Like, yeah, get ready, yeah. You know? This might be it. This might be Here's the reveal. the reveal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. And what do we have here? I had no idea my defense attorney would be afraid of me. Oh, shit. He's calling him out. Nah. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. <laughs> he tries to find the right words to say, but remains frozen. Come on. We have business to handle. If you can't handle being near a real man, what are you doing in a field like this? <laughs> little toxic you kind of expect that i guess yeah for sure this guy was groping people true <clears throat> right uh business i'm alvin your defense attorney yes i know i'm good friends with your boss he told me all about you ah uh, shit oh no <laughs> he's already revealing this boss tie right he's making puzzled. him more nervous yeah. friends really his boss was in the background of the photo but he lets out a weak chuckle. 
as he tries to stay confident. If his boss was friends with Marcus, then surely Marcus wasn't such a bad guy. He snaps him out of his chain of thought. I think we need to do a little bit of bonding. After all, your boss told me that our tastes happen to align. That's why he picked you to come here today. Wow. So this was all planned. Yeah. The boss is like the, the master planner. Yeah. He's the matchmaker. Yeah. Bonding? What do you mean? If you get scared, the door's back there. Feel free <laughs> to leave. I've never scared off a lawyer, but there's a first time for everything. We'll both have a nice story to tell either way. Jeez. He, Alvin tried to think about what... He, they wrote Alvin twice. Alvin tried to think about what Marcus meant by bonding and taste. Alvin can only think of one meaning for this situation, but it's too absurd for him to take seriously. Is there going to be BDS? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but when the bulge in Marcus's pants starts to grow, Alvin realizes that it was exactly what Marcus meant. He starts to consider bolting for the door, but at the same time, a strange, almost delightful surge of anticipation buzzes through him. Oh, no. We've made it to the first minigame. <laughs> so, <laughs> to the right here are the Excellent. options. <laughs> and then Marcus just unholstered his cock. <laughs> unholstered i love that okay <laughs> and then marcus bends down and places a claw against alvin's crotch i don't know i like how the alvin runs out of the meeting is uh doesn't cost any points no you can do that right away <laughs> that's good yeah all right you um, got 15 turns so which one do you want to go for do you want him to bend down and put his claw on his crotch or uh... yeah do the do the claws there's a okay. there's a five stack of claws in the middle bottom right there yeah nice hell yeah If you see any, then I'm not getting. Oh, we got it. Oh, you got it, yeah. Easy. Whew. All right. That's it, huh? You yep. don't even have to keep using the rest of your turns? No. Once you get it. Unless you want to unlock this one, but we, we'd have to go back and play again to unlock this It anyway. sounds like... No, yeah, that's fine. Unless yeah. you want to do it. I don't care. No, nah, let's do this one. The, um... <laughs> this escalated so quickly. It did. Like... He's like, I'm, I'm nervous about the, and he's then he's just like, we're gonna bond, and then yeah. that was all it took. And then he, his mind went there too. He was like, no, this this is absurd, but this is the only thing I, I can think of, like what it means. It sounds exhausting, like where you just like anytime someone says the word bonding or anything remotely sexual, you start immediately thinking about like the most like deviant sexual shit every right. single time. <laughs> Like he said bonding. I don't did he mean that kind of bonding? It's like somebody tells you like pass the catch him and you're like, pass? Does he want me to pass out in bed? <laughs> yeah. Everything is I mean, to be fair, I don't know if there are uh female characters in this world. Uh-huh. Or if like anybody's straight. So this might just be their culture, right? True. Yeah, that's actually very true. If it's all gay dudes, like, with the sex drive of men, like, I could actually see how everybody's just hyper-sexualized. Yeah. Yeah. That's a scary world. It is Jeez. a pretty scary world. Especially uh, for a small guy like Alvin. Yeah, seriously. While he starts to get erect, Marcus comes closer to tease him. Come on, how about we get to know each other's bodies a bit more? <laughs> that sounds absolutely unnecessary. Please, can we just do the paperwork? That's a good point. He must have the true. courage to look Marcus in the eyes as he comes closer. When Marcus approaches, he stays frozen in his seat. As soon as Marcus is right in front of him, he leans closer to Alvin, taking up most of his field of view. Alvin tightly grips his briefcase. Thoughts of, <laughs> thoughts of running fill his head as Marcus puts a clawed hand on Alvin's thigh. Jesus Christ. I'm excited for this. How about you? This is uh, this is illegal. This is very, very pre like he's pressuring. Uh... Yeah. Oh. He says, "I guess." I don't. Is he saying that out of fear? He could be. I mean, look at the size comparison. Like literally, yeah. this dude's like his hand is literally the size of his head. Yeah. Seriously. 
Oh. Don't worry, we're both going to love this. It sounds very, uh, very rapey. He brings Maybe his hand. It could be. Could be. They both could be very into it. I think we'll find out. We definitely will. <laughs> he brings his hand farther up Alvin's sly, and all Alvin does is, in response is look down and watch. The anticipated face and slowly starts to make him erect. Marcus unzips Alvin's pants. Alvin's instincts kick in, and they press back against the chair in fear. So, uh, how's this guy going to unzip those tiny pants with his giant, like, clawed hands? He's probably just going to, like, rip it down, I guess. I Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Thoughts race through his head about how this has to violate some kind of rule in the prison. And about how he shouldn't be here right now, but also the strange excitement that Marcus makes him feel. Alvin had no idea which feeling was stronger. His whole body was filled with strange sensations of all kinds. Marcus reaches his hand into Alvin's pants. Alvin feels the smooth <laughs> side of a claw brush against the tip of his collar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of jazzed up. The writing in this episode is a lot better than the previous ones. Okay. I think it feels like they have a completely different writer. They might. They might have had a different writer. Yeah. There's a lot more like energy to this one. Uh huh. The yeah, other ones it's like, not just got to the written. point. Yeah. He gently teases him. Alvin wonders where this will all lead. His heartbeat quickens, and he starts to sweat harder. His suit starts to feel a bit stuffy. How does he have to wonder where it's all going to lead? Like At this point, <laughs> I think it's fairly obvious where this is going yeah. to lead. I don't know. What's he doing with my pants? I don't know. Boy, his claw touched the tip of my cock. Is, it, is that legal? I don't think this can happen. <laughs> 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 Alvin looks back up. Marcus's body is even closer now, and he can feel the body heat from here. <laughs> Just be careful. I mean, that's that's. I would say that too. If some dude with hands that size was coming at my yeah, car. yeah, you're right, you're right. The nose muscles. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he has a very delicate touch. He, he grips his cock and tightly squeezes it a few times, and every squeeze sends a tense wave of arousal through Alvin. In only a few moments, Alvin's erection reaches its full length, and Marcus is fully erect as well. His giant cock presses against the inside of his prison uniform. It's bursting out. <laughs> as soon as Alvin is fully erect, Marcus takes his hand and off Alvin's cock. Oh, no. Another decision here. What the hell is it? Are these... <laughs> so the pants, pants they're like multi-stage things you need to unlock. So first you got to get the pants off, oh. then you got to get the underwear off. Okay, makes sense. All right, yeah. so swap those pants on the left there, right? Well, wait, what is this? Whatever's happening out is going to what it? Like it? I don't know. Going to... looks like there's an O here. Going to something it. Yeah. With an H. Um, hmm. Alan's body responds even as he... We can't... We don't know. All right, well... Yeah... Maybe Alvin is going to touch it. Oh, uh, it could be touch it, yeah. Yeah. Well, we got to do that. <laughs> okay, the hearts. The hearts seem like the way to go. <laughs> Let's do it. Well, okay. Just get rid of some of these pants, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, hearts. Swap the pants on the uh, five down in second column to the heart. What are you saying? Swap the pants that are five down and two over to the heart. I can't swap the pants. Oh, you can't. No, oh, the pants are stuck like there. Block, so you have to make block. matches. Yeah. I get it. What's with that eggplant? Why is that eggplant? It's extra points. And also, I think it gets rid of everything. Oh, it gets that, rid of um, the shit from the... Okay, I get it. Yep. Yeah. Nice, nice. We had seven turns left. We need to make four more. We can do that. Easy. Definitely. Oh, boom. There it is. And there's a heart explosion right there. Wow. That's awesome. All right. He's going All to right. touch it. <laughs> going to touch it yeah whatever happens yeah <laughs> all right 
When Marcus pulls down his pants, Alvin gasps and looks down at the erection in front of him. The, the huge, veiny rod beckons for his touch. Yes. Yeah, this writing is infinitely better. The, <laughs> all the other stories were just like, <laughs> they were like, oh, he, he grabs his dick. <laughs> but this, yeah. like, there's way more words. There's a lot more adjectives being used, it would appear. Yeah. Like it? Get that thing away. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why is it red? They're all animals, so they all have, like, weird dog colored dicks, cock. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alvin doesn't finish that sentence. And he shivers while Marcus keeps showing off his huge erection. And he lets his pants drop to the floor and arches his hips forward. Alvin's hands come to touch it, but he hesitates. So how does he let his pants drop if he's wearing a onesie, right? Yeah, I don't... Yeah, that doesn't quite... It doesn't even look like anything dropped. It's just he just kind of opened it, you know? Yeah, yeah. Seriously, put your pants back on so we can, uh... I'm a professional. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah. We have all the time in the world. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, the pre-com already. Yeah. Look at that mane on that. <laughs> there's no hey. there's no hair really on the bottom. It's all on top. No. Do they have razors in this world? Can they shave? No. I don't know if they would want to. Mm. Cause they're all they all have like fur everywhere it's probably more normalized yeah you know? right yeah i wonder what their uh their tastes are yeah <laughs> alvin's hand hovers in front of him inches from marcus's cock he shakes nervously then reaching forward and light then reaches forward and lightly touches the tip with his right pointer finger uh that's his left hand that is his left hand i was thinking <laughs> that <laughs> Put this huge thing away already. Anyone who walks in is instantly going to see it. Nobody will walk in. Go ahead. Touch it. When Alvin grips his shaft and curls his fingers around it, he swears he can feel Marx's heartbeat through it. <laughs> there, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the huge veiny rod throbs in his hands. However, Alvin's enthrallment quickly fades, and he lets go to, to try to push him away by the hips. No, oh, no, this isn't right. Marcus <laughs> doesn't move at all from Alvin's feeble shove. He doesn't seem to mind it at all. It's right if you enjoy it. Are you having fun? This guy is saying all the worst things. Yeah, he's like, he's literally like saying stuff that it sounds like some drunk dude at the bar is saying yeah. to like a chick he's hitting on. Yeah. yeah. I feel bad for Alvin a little bit. All right, me too. Yeah. It was true. Part of Alvin was having an amazing time so far, but the other part of him was screaming. Gee. <laughs> Touching Marcus was both an amazing experience and an unbearable torment. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I guess if we were already on camera, there's no harm in... Fuck, what am I saying? Oh, I... does he have a camera recording this? I was going to say, what is this like? What is going on here? Oh, it's like a video meeting. I don't know. <gasps> That's insane. It's like a deposition or something. Right. I don't know. Fuck, what am I saying? <laughs> Take your time to decide. They won't bother us for another hour, I don't think. And I guess we would still have plenty of time to do the legal stuff. Sorry, give me a second. Alvin thinks, does he run? Does he touch Marcus again? Or does he get more bald? Mini game. <laughs> I Come hope on. so. The throbbing erection in front of him would feel nice in his hands, but at the same time, Alvin wants it inside him. <laughs> but both those things feel wrong, too. Mm. All right. All right. Stroke that Stroke magnificent, that magnificent cock. cock. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to bend him over. Oh, man. Is there... <laughs> oh. So we could still run away if we if we really wanted to. <laughs> But, it's too late to run now. Yeah, I think we're in this. Yeah. What do you think? Should we stroke the cock or should we <sighs> let it bend him over? <laughs> I think I think he should take control. Oh, so you want Alvin to take yeah, a little control? Yeah, I don't want this to feel as rapey. I feel like okay. that would make it feel a little safer, you know? Let's get these fur paws then. <laughs> All right. This is not looking good for fur paws, though, this, I will this say. This is not looking The bad good. board. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it gives you hints too. Yeah, it highlights which ones you can do, but it doesn't. Yeah. Never does the right one. No. 
Oh. Here we go. Damn. Oh, yeah. Nice. If you do the eggplant, we'll wipe out that whole column. Yes. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think it'll wipe out the column below it, though, if I do that. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that one. That's nice. it, yeah. Oh, the hearts. Five hearts. It's insane. Oh, we got a star. This is literally just Candy Crush. Yeah. Boom. Whoa. Hell yeah. I don't know. You can stroke that magnificent cock. <laughs> Uh, he hesitates, then he makes his decision. He reaches forward and grips Marcus's cock once more. He can barely fit his hand around it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd come around. Go as wild as you'd like. Are you sure? <laughs> it's hard to grip something too hard when it's the size of your forearm. <laughs> wow. That's insane. Oh, we got a new camera angle. <laughs> he starts stroking Marcus back and forth. He takes a lot of wrist and arm movement to move his hand across his cock, but Alvin doesn't mind. The work needed to stroke this behemoth of an erection just makes teasing it more rewarding. You can grip tighter if you want. Oh <laughs> my god. Yeah, so oh they, they do have animations in this game. I didn't know that. It looks amazing on my 144 Hz monitor. I'm sure, yeah. It's very smooth animation, but yeah, you know, seeing a giant dick on my screen is not the best thing. <laughs> it's like literally <laughs> no joke, like like a half of my screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles and grabs it with the second hand, squeezing it hard as he jerks it back and forth. He looks up at Marcus with a smile and then goes back to work. So, judging by like his hand size and the dick. That really is like the size of a forearm. It's, it's literally the size of his arm. That's yeah, insane. Not even a joke. Insane. Can you imagine? <laughs> Jesus. Am I doing good? Keep going. You're going great. <laughs> he stoically keeps himself steady as Alvin jerks him harder and faster. Despite his stamina, Alvin can almost feel his arousal. A bead of pre <laughs> leaks out on his tip, and Alvin keeps stroking, using it as lubricant. Nice. That's yeah. the way to go. Mind if I... <laughs> go ahead. Alan starts stroking his cock faster. Oh my god. Is this good? Oh yeah. Although it's starting to get tiring, he keeps up his fast pace. He looks like Almost... he's just gonna fall asleep. <laughs> he's enjoying it though. Yeah. He already has all his clothes off, the tie's hanging. It's true. How but, like... Yeah, they didn't say he took his pants off, but his pants are clearly off. Yeah, his pants, his tails... Well, I guess the tail's always out, even when they have the pants on, right? Yeah, they probably have a hole somewhere. Yeah, they've got a hole for the tail. <laughs> Almost there. He strokes as hard and fast as he can. So this is as hard and fast as he can, because that's pretty weird. Yeah, I want to see faster than that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. So... I, every time, I say this every time, I wish there was an animation for that. For the splooge, yeah. Yeah, they kind of just fade to it, and it doesn't have, like, the... It doesn't uh, even, feel yeah. climactic, you know? Even if it was just, like, six frames, where it just looked like a slow-mo, yeah. like, the cum just slowly exactly. going through the air, you know? That would be better. Yeah. Uh, when he finally comes in his grasp, his cock twitches wildly and lets out huge bursts of cum with every stroke. <laughs> When the orgasm ends, Alvin looks up, his face covered. That's got to suck to get out of your fur. I was going to say, you fur? Like, that's <laughs> problematic. Yeah. He can't go home. I, there's and like, foxes, they don't shower. Like, they clean themselves with their tongue. Right. Usually, you know? They do have showers in this universe. Uh, oh, two characters do. took a shower together. Okay. So I think whatever, All right. they just have human norms. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, says. your hands are magical. <laughs> magical. Uh, thanks. Grab the paper towels and wipe yourself. That's not going to do enough. Yeah, no. Sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> All right. So we finished that path. Wow. <laughs> okay. 
So we could continue from this one and try to get this down downboards path, or we can go all the way up. Yeah, off. let's try and go the full down path. So let's start at the second part again. <laughs> um, okay. Get through that. I'm just going to get back to that mini game. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay. So we did the claw last time. We did the claw. Now we need to do the eggplant. Eggplant. You do the blue paws in the bottom right. Yep. There you go. Good call. We got those eggplants in the bottom right now. Yeah, can I do anything? The eggplant in the bottom right, you can make three. Oh, oh yeah, you're yeah. right. Nice. Try and get the money, I guess, at least. So, oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Good. There we go. Yeah, you got eggplants in the top right. Perfect. Almost there. Hmm. Nice. All right. There it is. Boom. And then Marcus On just holsters. Why is the U? A di is that? Oh, uh, that's spot? bad. They there's just no glow to that U, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they forgot to add the glow to it. Damn. Alvin can't help but stare at Marcus's huge bulge. The enormous rod captivates him and fills him with a variety of strange emotions. Whoa! Uh... Interested? What well, man? <laughs> <laughs> Alvin can't help but stare at Marcus's huge bulge. The enormous rod captivates him. They already said that. Strange yeah. emotions. <laughs> Whoa! Uh... <laughs> okay. Interested? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He's like, what? Uh, that's scary. Yeah, he doesn't have, like, size to his mouth anymore. Alvin <laughs> snaps out of his gaze and looks up at Marcus. I'm interested in, in examining the paperwork together and validating and expanding upon the facts and information of your case. Come on, I saw you looking down there. <laughs> that's so bad. Super rapey. Yeah, only because it's very unusual. He's never seen a dick that I mean, big, I guess. Is... Yeah, in all of my years in court, I've never seen a cock of that size. <laughs> <laughs> what a scene. Wait, what? Maybe he didn't take it out yet in the animation. How his balls just... are, are a different shade than his... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess, you know what? Like, everybody's balls are probably a different shade than their, you know? True. I think yeah. maybe he has fur there. And like uh, the or it's like the you know the fur. inside of the palm, it's like that color, like the True. the pinkish, like yeah, because you can yeah. see on his hands, like that's the same color. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'd rather. Alvin's words are cut short. Short when Marcus yanks his pants down a few inches and gets a full view of his gargantuan erection. <laughs> <laughs> this slight curve doesn't make it any less intimidating. Below it are two huge <laughs> shaved balls. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> shave. They do shave. They're shaved. There's a proudly displayed bush of fur. <laughs> okay, so he does have to shave his balls. He does shave his balls. Yeah. Crazy. My God, I don't. I don't even want to know what the razor is like for that. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's just like a like a pet shop razor. Yeah, it's got to be like a like <laughs> industrial grade cheers for that right. for that set. This isn't a good idea at all. Please put away your uh, equipment. We have plenty of time for paperwork later. Besides, aren't you excited? It's true. <laughs> the erection in front of him is somewhat alluring, and a pleasant tinge of lust starts to pulse through him. But alarm bells start going off in Alvin's head. Everything about this feels wrong. <laughs> Marcus walks closer. <laughs> Want a closer look? Oh, God. Please. <laughs> Just, there are cameras in here. Someone might walk in. Okay, so they're not recording it. There's just security cameras. Yeah, I guess it's a security camera, but, like, still, I mean... <laughs> Someone's watching this, security yeah, and seeing this. Somebody could definitely be watching this. There's no privacy in this room. No. Don't worry about it. There's no danger. 
<laughs> he reaches down to his groin and gently grips his cock, slowly stroking it back and forth to tease both himself and Alvin. Meanwhile, Alvin's back is pressed against his chair. He's paralyzed and isn't sure what to say next. Five minutes ago, he thought he was going to have a talk with his first client, client and now that client is stroking himself in front of him. <laughs> Imagine this being your first <laughs> client ever. Like <laughs> your first client, you he gets oh into your office God. and he whips his cock out in the first like five minutes of the meeting. Like I don't yeah. know if that means you really want to leave the profession or you maybe want to really stay in the profession. Right, right. <laughs> I guess in this world that's probably a good in thing. In this world, job. this is yeah. This is why you got in the law. <laughs> right. <laughs> his own cock harvins with arousal. Conflicting emotions fill him. All right. Huh? Okay. So, I think this one we did the um, the the eggplants, right? Yeah, so yeah. Do the hearts. It. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think they added this part into the game? What was like the idea behind it? Because otherwise, there's just no gameplay. <laughs> I, you know, I it feels like it is to slow things down too, so you don't just like come in the first like five yeah, minutes. Like yeah. if you're stroking it off, this is kind of like a breather for you to like edge yourself. That's true. That's true. I definitely they strategically built it in. Right. I think this was. People probably are jerking off to this, right? 100 percent. yeah that's yeah. the only reason you'd ever have this game right. it's not like they buy it for the like for the good writing or something yeah well oh, we got the eggplant i didn't get there yes oh can't take his eyes off it <laughs> <laughs> ever sucked a dick before <laughs> just that sentence <laughs> no. No. Would you like to? <laughs> oh, I like how they blur it first too. Yeah, like, you really don't. You don't know what's happening. It. I don't I wonder where this goes. <laughs> I don't know if you said yes or no. Alvin isn't sure what to do with the rod in front of him. It's appealing, but does he really want that behemoth in his mouth? Please pull up your pants and get away from me. Genitals have no place in an office legal meeting like this. An official he's not meeting. wrong. He's no, not he's, wrong. he's very right. <laughs> Genitals don't really have a place. <laughs> not usually, but if you're having fun, why not? <laughs> I can think of a lot of reasons. Come on, you know you want to suck it. Jeez. Pardon? <laughs> you're already thinking about it. I can tell. No, I wasn't. How about I slide it in? <laughs> I don't. Why? Here, let me just. Look. <laughs> Marcus closes his eyes and thrusts his hips forward, bringing his erection right against Alvin's lips. Before he can react, Mark and Marcus crams his rod in Alvin's lips, pushing it deep inside. Oh. So this, he said no. He said he said no. Yeah. This Very is clearly like... said no. Yes. Yes. The last one was a little bit like this too. Uh, <laughs> his head presses against the back of his chair, but it doesn't do anything to get the cock out of his mouth. It's large enough to keep him from breathing <laughs> through his mouth, oh. though thankfully his throat still is still mostly unblocked. Okay. He keeps himself still as Alvin instinctively runs his tongue across the bottom of his shaft. Instinctively. Instinct, yeah, that's what so, you would do. Yeah. But, so has he done this before? He said no. So how is no, that he instinct? hasn't done it, but it's instinct because in this universe they're made to suck cock. Right, right. That's what everyone does. It's just but genetics. the other, the other question really is if they're all gay and they're all men, how do they reproduce? Oh shit, <laughs> that's how a really good question. Furries? Maybe are they just immortal? Maybe there are women, but they're not. They're just used for reproduction. Right, like they're not part of society. <laughs> maybe they aren't sentient. Yeah, maybe they're just like the turtles in the fucking ground. <laughs> you imagine how fucked up. Oh that'd my be. god. Isn't there something like that in Mad Max? Where it's like yeah, it's it is something like that. He has all the wives. Yeah. yeah. Insane. 
he keeps himself still. He instinctively does it. Uh, the huge meaty rod barely fit in his lips. Even if Alvin were to bite down, he didn't think it would do anything. <laughs> Take your time. Marcus slid his cock out slightly, keeping the tip inside Alvin's lips. His tongue explores the rounded tip, and the taste is... Is this what dick tastes like? <laughs> <laughs> so the narrator now has turned into Alvin's thoughts a little bit? Yes, yes. Interesting. Alvin is filled with two things, arousal and panic. <laughs> Nothing else. The paperwork and the meeting were out of his mind. He doesn't care whether or not anything happens in this meeting. He wants to run, and he wants more of that dick in his mouth. <laughs> Why would he? You can't have both. No, you can't. You run can. and have dick in your mouth. No. He slid his cock in deeper, making Galvin almost gag, but sending the arousal down his spine. I'll take <laughs> it out if you choke too hard. Don't worry. So that's nice, I guess. Yeah, like, he's, it's reassuring. I, yeah, he sounds like a really good guy. <laughs> <laughs> run or run suck. Run or suck. <laughs> now is the time to pick. All right. <laughs> um. Oh God. Touch it. F touch it first. Touch it fast. But. Yeah, touch it something, but not this. Right. No, no, Alvin blank to taste it. Alvin has to taste it. Yeah, it could be. Yep. You want to do the paw? I feel like that's. The paw seems like a good one. Yeah. But that might that might lead us back to the other one, right? I don't know. If it does, does we it can. Not? I don't know. I would think the other one he has to taste it is like the last ending, because mm -hmm. that ended with a blowjob, right? Right. Yep. True. Yeah, you're right. The paw is probably the play. Nice. Get this the pause. Yeah. I I can't stand Get playing the this game anymore. In the middle, it's five. Yeah. There you go. That should basically win it, right? Get that Almost. Oof. Nope. You gotta get thirty-six fucking pause. That's Jesus, insane. that's a lot of pause. Maybe that's like a really good option. You know. Yeah, it must. Well, the, uh, the eggplant is forty-eight. Holy shit! <laughs> Imagine you're like about to come, and then you just have to play <laughs> fucking bejeweled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there should be a skip button, like a really small one at the yeah. bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think this is the company's first game too. Wow. So. so. Maybe they it's have only it, up like, from here. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm excited to follow what they make next. Yeah, we should definitely keep an eye on it. <laughs> furlough games. Is it really called furlough? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um. Use a bomb or something. I Come can use it. I can destroy. What is it? What does the bomb do again? Yeah, what's the radius? Destroys all items and clothing in an area. Okay. Um, I could buy a bunch of free moves. I could buy nine free moves if we need more. Yeah, we or are. Or I could use five. Money. I have a extra we five. We got six moves. turns still. Yep, we're still doing pretty good. We'll do that, just to be safe. Sure. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Touch it, fine, but not this. Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay. What does that mean? What does that imply? I don't know. He wants to take the thing out of his mouth, but arousal still overtakes him. Alvin takes his head off Marcus and looks up at him. Marcus looks slightly disappointed. <laughs> it's too... <laughs> oh, no. It's too oh, big for my no. mouth, but that's not going to stop me. So, so he's into it. Yeah, he's got some gumption. Yeah. <laughs> he smiles again and puts his hand around his cock. Yep, now we're back. Uh, okay, to okay. Um, well, then. We're so right. we have to do the other one. Yeah, go back to the. Th yep. Or are we doing. Which one were we the, doing? Uh, we, the third one. Yeah, you got to go. Uh, to the uh, third. The one. bottom one. The, yeah, that one. Gotcha. Yeah. Yep.
Okay. So we gotta do the eggplant one then. Interesting. Okay. Uh... <laughs> you do the eggplants at the top. Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Okay. That's fine. <sighs> this is definitely the worst part of the game. I mean, yeah. <laughs> We're here for the furry porn, not these fucking yeah. bejeweled. <laughs> I assume that's how everybody... Like, I don't know if many furries have played this game. There's not a lot of reviews. Is there really? Yeah. Well, it's a somewhat new game. I mean, it's only a few yeah, months old. Yeah, it came right? out, like, once you bought it. It came out, it like, could blow month. up. Yeah. It could. It could. Yeah. We don't know. Wow, we still got to get a lot of eggplants. Yeah. 22 more eggplants. Insane. I'm this better be a really good one. Yeah, bomb it. Bam. Nice. Oh. Okay, look at all those eggplants over there. Yes. We're getting there. We're getting close, yeah. Um Should I buy another bomb or a bunch of free moves? I feel like free moves are even better than bombs, honestly. I think so. Like, 10 free moves is definitely better than a bomb. For sure. You can move whatever you want, too. Yeah, which yeah. Which is very helpful, I think. There we go. It's not enough to get it. Let get me those hearts it. at the bottom. Okay. I'm going to use a free move to okay. move something. There you go. Ah, oh, one more. The money, the money on the uh, to into the one that, to, yeah, the to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. No, no, he wants to taste it. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Although the rod inside him is intimidating, <clears throat> Alvin quickly learns to manage it inside his mouth. After repositioning his tongue and jaw and learning to bob his head back and forth at the right speed, he stops choking. I knew you'd like it. Here I go. How is he uh, saying uh, that? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, the the anatomy of, like, the fox's this, mouth. It's Yeah, his jaw really can, like, go a lot wider than you'd anticipate. Yeah. This would be the worst time for someone to Jeez. walk in. For sure. <laughs> I would. Uh, Andrew's <laughs> the only one here who hasn't seen the uh, this game on Sensor. Wow. Why not? <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't played it with him. But, like, he saw the YouTube <laughs> video, but I have to censor everything to put it on YouTube. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So he doesn't know what it actually looks like. Wow. He bobs his head back and forth, slowly sucking on the erection in front of him. He has to keep his jaw all the way open. <laughs> it's the only way he can keep it in his mouth. I do like the animation on the like the ears and it's the fur. Pretty, it's pretty good movement. Yeah, yeah, you can see. Look, even the tip of his nose moves a little bit. Oh, true, it's... true. <laughs> Keep going. You're doing good. While Alvin thrusts in and out, he rubs his tongue against the bottom of his erection. Uh, he reaches down and rubs Alvin's thighs to encourage him to keep going. Even though there's little room in his mouth to work with, he swirls his tongue around the giant rod, licking every inch of it. As Alvin gets more used to it, he sucks faster and deeper, eventually managing to bring the tip all the way to the back of his throat. <laughs> he smiles. Yep. Don't stop. And... Oh, God. <laughs> he opened his eyes. <laughs> this is when I would close my eyes. That doesn't... <laughs> no, no. Jeez. This is why you're just dead inside. Yeah. He keeps going and sucks harder and faster. Beat of pre-cum emerges from the tip of his cock. We Alvin, don't know. Alvin takes a break. 
from deep throating to take his cock out of his mouth and tease the tip with his tongue, licking up the delicious lubricant emerging from the tip. Mm, yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Soon, he goes back to pounding the erection against the back of his throat. Marcus uh. is almost at orgasm, and Alvin knows it. Oh, I didn't even notice his hand there. Did he just add that? No, the hand's been in the back of his head, yeah. <laughs> or at no, the like the hand on his thigh. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I, did, I didn't notice that either. <laughs> uh, finally, he comes in Alvin's throat, letting out jet after jet of warm fluid as his cock twitches on his mouth. <sighs> Alvin manages to swallow only a bit of what comes out and is thankful he doesn't choke. How'd it get all over his face? Yeah. I don't know. Everywhere. I don't man. know. <laughs> when the orgasm ends, Marcus slides out of Alvin's mouth. Not bad. My last lawyer was better, though. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> So this guy's up. a serial rapist. <laughs> yeah, he literally just fucking, like, throat fucks every lawyer Jeez, he has, apparently. That's insane. He has to move his jaw around to relax it before he can speak. Really? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Let me dry off with some paper towels and we can get to the actual legal crap. <laughs> sure thing. All right. Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I like how it ends as we get to the legal paperwork. Right. Like, they don't want to show you any of that. No, no. That's not the good stuff. More Candy Crush. Yep. Now we got to do the... We the have to do the pants. Right? Yeah. Okay. So the way these work is you have to make I matches see. to... Around like, them? touches the pants, yeah. Yeah. Um... So, like, these claws aren't good enough because they're not touching anything. Sure. Hmm. What's the needle do again? The needle removes one item. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Which it's more expensive than the free moves, which really doesn't make any sense. Get the eggplants in the middle. Oh, oh, you can still do it. Do the eggplants in the middle and then the claws. Oh no! Damn. This is harder. This, this is, is a really lot hard. harder. We gotta make like a big thing again, you know? Yeah. Like a five. Um. The claws work, yeah. And the, now the paws. There we go. That was pretty good. Okay. That was good. Um, nice, nice, nice. We only got five moves, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Got plenty right. of money. I'm just going to keep using these free moves for now. Yeah, get them free moves. Eggplants on the... Yep. Right there. Like or, these? No, not no down. Oh, the yeah. bottom over, yeah. Nice. Ooh. Let me buy more. We're going broke. Not enough money. <clears throat> Beautiful. There we go. Back at the money. To the move it to the right in the middle there. Yep. Perfect. Close. Um, wow, you have to get all of the pants to do it. Yeah. Damn. Money or eggplants. Yep. Plants now, and then we're pretty much good. Home free. Now the money or that. Yep. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. His body responds even as he mumbles. I, I wonder. What the... I guess. So this has got to have. So we've done the blowjobs. This has to be where he gets fucked at this point, right? Right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, okay. <clears throat> I, think, I think it's time you got out of that chair. Forget what's in front. I want to see what you've got behind. <laughs> oh, no. Eh? Eh? <laughs> it's like Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> yeah. As he reaches forward, Alvin freezes up. <laughs> oh. I love Maybe we can... don't unblur this one. Yeah, yeah. We can just not click through it. 
Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> he grips him by the hips and pulls him out of his chair. Alvin stumbles as he tries to keep him balance. <laughs> he grows more aroused as Marcus moves his hand back and gropes his ass. This, I, why? <laughs> it's a fun time with no downsides. Just enjoy yourself. What about the case? The paperwork? Like, they don't mention any actual, like, no. legal things. It's just no. paperwork and case. So we've got to do this paperwork. Yeah, he's just, like, <laughs> so concerned about the paperwork. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Marcus spins him around. Don't worry. There's plenty of time for that. For now, let's fuck. <laughs> he remains silent. He tries to think of things to say. But finds himself bending over slightly as Marcus unzips his prison trousers. Okay, so now he's unzipping rather than. All right, there we go. Not just him. putting his pants in. Yeah. Yeah. He's scared, but he realizes that this day is turning out to be the most exciting thing to happen since his law school graduation ceremony. Oh. Okay. Hey, could you imagine getting the first person that you ever fucked is like a prison convict that you're supposed to be helping in court? A giant dude, you can't. Yeah. You can never go back after that. <laughs> Ever been fucked by a lion before? <laughs> no. But Mr. Legr is that is that his last name? Legr I don't know. What's his what is his name? It's Marcus, Marcus Legrand or something or Le Did they ever say know. his last name? I don't know. I don't remember. But Mr. Legr <laughs> We've come too far. Uh. We're about to fuck. It's too late to be formal. Just call me Marcus. <laughs> no one feels his pants slide down his waist. His own erection pops out. Marcus reaches around and rubs it for a second before letting go. He like turns around. Yeah. He turns around. Uh, he rips the rest of his prison uniform off in one swift, strong motion. All right. This is not going to have clothes to put back on. No. <laughs> His muscular physique makes Alvin even more horny, and Alvin's eyes gaze at Marcus's giant erection once more. Seeing him naked fills Alvin with pure lust. Ready? Alvin struggles to come up with an answer. Is he really about to get fucked in the ass? <laughs> I'd say so. I think all signs are pointing in that direction. Yeah. yeah. The door is over there, and he thinks one last time about running. But being pounded right here by this beauty of a lion would be a wonderful treat. It's now or never. <laughs> Can he not just go, like, bang a lion another time? Like, are there not a lot of lions? Are all lions convicts? Probably. This could be... Maybe it's kind of like... A... All right, I'm not even going to go there, actually. <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. there this there. could be, like, institutional racism, you know? Right. I think so, yeah. The lions could definitely have, like, a... Um stereotype yeah this is a metaphor for society in america yeah well who knew right, this is deep um we're gonna bend it is marcus gonna bend him over or is marcus gonna give him a ride uh, so he's gonna like <laughs> i don't see any situation in which alvin is fucking marcus right no so, that definitely doesn't happen no way yeah no. um i i feel like giving a ride is probably pretty interesting yeah, we'll do th we'll do that first. I guess. Well, maybe we should end with the most interesting thing. You're right. So maybe You're we right, bend yeah. him over. We'll bend him over. Good call. <clears throat> Damn. All right, this worked well. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, nice. We got that. There's a lot of hearts to be heart. had here. Get that heart <laughs> thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Alvin turns around and plants his elbows on the desk. Fuck it. Might as well have fun. Just don't be too rough. 
He smiles. I'll be careful. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is what you made me watch, Alex. This I, is what... you, I, I didn't make you do anything. You didn't you have to play. You bought it for me. I had to play it. <laughs> well, yeah. I thought you would enjoy it. Yeah. Well, so far, what would you rate the game? Um, the episodes vary, but the first episode I'd give an 8 out of 10. Second episode, oh. it's probably like a 7 out of 10. Wow, so far we're, we're doing good. We're at a C-plus average. The next one's worse. The, the next episode uh, was pretty weak, you got to say. Okay. Um, that was like a 4 out of 10. This one's back to like an 8 out of 10, though, I think. Good. It's good they rebound. Yeah, I'm very excited for the last one, too. Yep. Um, he rubs his thighs and gives him a pat on the hip. Again, please don't go too crazy. Again, don't worry. <laughs> Again. <laughs> never gets yeah. old. Yeah, it never gets old. Oh, no. <laughs> he brings his cock to Alvin's ass and gently presses it against his opening. Alvin shivers with pleasure as Marcus rubs the... the rip of his cock against him. When Marcus starts pushing it inside him, Alvin's body tenses up. Ah. Just hold still. Marcus finally passes through Alvin's opening and slides it into his soft depths. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty good description. That's a, I that guess. is, yeah, I like that. The soft depths. <laughs> like if I was if I was playing D and D and this was like yeah. the the movement I chose, and they read that back to me. I would, I would completely understand this happening. Yeah, it's good. Alvin lets out a moan while Marcus stoically slides in deeper. His cock rubs against Alvin's prostate, sending pulses of erotic bliss through his body. Alvin's own uh, erection hangs loose and slowly leaks pre cum onto the floor. Oh God! <laughs> he throws in and out, holding on to Alvin's hips for more control. Looks painful. He does I mean, his... he's he's pretty deep in there. And he's never had anything in his butt before. So no, there's like, no loop. Like I don't know what the diameter of my forearm is, but that's. Do uh, you think you could fit it in your ass? That's, no, definitely not. I mean, people do fist each other, like yeah, with a lot of practice. Yeah. Well, who knows? It's an he's an animal. Maybe you know it's different. It's true. Maybe they have looser buttholes. <laughs> it's true. He does his best to bounce his ass back and forth in time with Marcus's movements, making the fucking feel even more intense. I'm almost there. Keep going. Uh, he grips his desk as he he grips his desk hard as he comes closer and closer to orgasm. He feels Marcus come as his cock twitches and releases load after load into his, his depths. <laughs> <laughs> they like he's in his depths. <laughs> yeah. Feeling Marcus's orgasm inside him only intensifies his arousal. Oh, God. I really think there should be animation. It's so disappointing. Yeah, it's you know? surprising that that's where you wouldn't have the animation. Right. And Marcus keeps thrusting to make it even better. Alvin's whole body tenses up as pleasure explodes inside his cock and prostate, making him directly onto the floor beneath him. <clears throat> when Alvin's orgasm ends, Marcus slides out of him. Now the paper towels again, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> enjoyed it? <laughs> I think you know the answer. Not what I expected to do today anyway. Can you get some paper towels so we can yeah. wipe <laughs> this and get back to your case? Sure thing. All right. <laughs> so the last one. Oh, boy. Now he's going to ride him. Yep. All right. Eggplant time. Um, I don't even know where to start. Nothing good. No. The money, I guess. Yeah, do the money uh, in the middle there. Yeah, now you can do the eggplants. Can you hear Andrew? A tiny bit, yep. <laughs> I can't hear him. Yeah, it sounded like he just said, I sucked you, I sucked you. Yeah, he probably did say that, yeah. <laughs> Very accurate for this game. Uh, yep, he yeah he did say that because he's playing a hero that does suck a lot. Ah, I see. Unless he just happens to be in like a legal meeting. 
right now. <laughs> yeah. He's You uh, never know. <laughs> yeah. I mean that's what me these meetings are like, so Oh, it is real life, yeah. <laughs> Not doing great on these eggplants. No, this is looking rough. Rough, like, furry. Right. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. I think I gotta buy more free turns, too. Probably. We're down to five turns. This is... We might That's, not get to give him a ride at this point. It's scary. <laughs> it is scary. Nice. There you go. There we go. Eggplants. A few different ones. Yep. There. Yep. The, do the pause. Yeah. Do the pause there in the four. Yeah. And now we can get those eggplants. True. Oh, we only have one turn. I can buy Polish. just three of these. It's enough. Three more moves. This is enough. <laughs> we we need to get eight more. Right, uh, right. do the hearts so we can get the paw explosion thing. Right. Do the parts hearts to the side. Like, like move uh, this one over, or yeah, move that move that one. Or no, no, like one down from where you're looking. And to, yeah, it's the one third one in. To the tooth. Move it to the tooth. Or the claw. You see what I mean? No. Oh, so, this one. Yeah. Move this one yeah, here. yeah, yeah. There yeah, you go. Yeah. And then I think we can get these eggplants. Yeah. Nice. Gotta do another free move. Yep. Oh. Uh, we can, can we do the paw explosion? Will that help us maybe? Yeah, do a free move with the paw. Um, and uh, move the money in the paw, I guess. Right? Yeah. It's the best we can do. I think so. Oh, no, not that. I meant the to oh. make the paws explode. You got to get the uh, blue paws. Oh, no. What's the needle again? The needle destroys one item. <laughs> Is there anything I can destroy? Not. We don't want to destroy that. We'd have to use our last move. I can destroy this. Well, maybe. I don't think. I think that hurts us because we want to make that one paw explode, and you have to drag the one paw to the right to the money. I can destroy this money, and maybe we get these eggplants. Oh yeah, maybe you get lucky and something happens too. Let's, let's we'll still have a turn after. It. Do it, yeah. We're almost there. <laughs> God damn it! The only thing I can say is moving the paw to the money. And then that paw will explode, and maybe that will create a cascade where we can get two more eggplants. Right. Let's see. Come on. Come on. No. Uh, well, fuck. We can see what this looks like. <clears throat> Alvin's okay. running away. On second thought, I just remembered my ass has uh, ass beetles. Oh, of course. You don't want to get them, so... I hate ass beetles. That's not a real... <laughs> Before he can finish the sentence, Alvin has already grabbed his suitcase and darted out the door while trying to pull his pants up. You know, this is what we should have done at the start. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that they had different, separate, like, running away scenarios yeah. here. All right, let's try. We got to get these fucking eggplants. There we go. This is a lot much more better, saturated. Much better. Do the pause first. Or, yeah, I guess you have a lot of options. I could do this heart. Yeah, so do the hearts and end the pause. That will. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. We could get all of these. Do today. the pause. Yeah, do those. Yeah, we could get all of these if we play it right. Yes. Yes. Now you get a five. <laughs> you get a five in yeah. a row. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. There it is. Okay. Now it's like guaranteed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could do the claws. They're the one that are... Okay. Yep. Still got some more eggplant. Yep. Can I use one Egg of these? Plants. They're glowing as if I could use them. Oh. Oh, oh shit. you click on them? Is that all you do? That's insane. How do we not? 
I did not know that. <laughs> there's you get the five more. claws. There's a five stack on the right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, there we go. Wow. That's looking nice. Very nice. We'll get this money here. Yep. Four eggplants. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. So can I really just click on this? Does it not? No, it does need to mm. line up with something, it looks like. Right. They're not going to let you just get it that easily. Come on now. Yeah. Get the four monies. With the heart, yet. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Now you got eggplant. Oh, you got a four eggplant. Oh, yes. Goddamn. Got five moves left to get five eggplants. Do the four paws. Okay. Um... Something will happen with this paw here if I move this up. It might drop oh, these implants yeah. down. Yeah, do it, do it, yep. Yeah. Hmm. What if you move the one paw to create the two threes? Does that give you a special thing up there? Because, yeah, we need to... Man, we only have three turns left. Yeah. The other option is you just get the money at the bottom and hope it like falls into place. Yeah, the I money. Don't know. Uh, got this eggplant here. I can try to get this eggplant to fall. Mm -hmm. So you know what? I have an idea here. This is gamer. This is a pro gamer move right here. All right. Okay. Let's see it. You can. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, oh, okay. We're three eggplants away. There it is. We got it. Hell yeah. Oh, that was close. Thank, thank God. <laughs> I was We're afraid we wouldn't get to give him a ride. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Alvin presses himself against Marcus. Screw it. Take me right now. <laughs> Take me right there now, go. you goddamn there. stud. <laughs> you goddamn stud. <laughs> this is like Casablanca, but like... A porno. Yeah. Not even close to his romantic. <laughs> he smiles again. Dude's been smiling this whole time. Yeah, he's always smiling or <laughs> nervously saying something. I knew you'd come around eventually. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yep, he presses his ass against Marcus's crotch. He shudders as the giant erection behind him presses against his opening and slowly slides inside. His opening, not his butthole. No. His opening. <laughs> so good. Weren't you rambling about paperwork a second ago? <laughs> yeah, like Isn't all of a sudden. Isn't having a cock in your ass much better than paperwork? <laughs> <laughs> he laughs nervously. Shut up. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> uh, he's in the air <laughs> yeah I mean he's tiny compared to Marcus Marcus Insane. is a behemoth he smiles in response alright after, after forcing its way through his, his entrance <laughs> Alvin shudders when Marcus's erection reaches his soft insides and rub, rubs against his prostate the massive rod fills Alvin with a surge of pleasure with every thrust Marcus picks Alvin off the ground and keeps thrusting. He reaches around Alvin's race, waist and grabs his cock. While Look thrusting, at the cock size. Yeah, oh. insane difference. Big difference. Ugh. There's no way his butthole can stretch to be that. Dude, that come big. on. I don't know. We've we've seen some stretching in our time. <laughs> For sure, but but this dude is has not had anything in his butt, as far as we know. That's true. To just go from like zero to a hundred, like right here, yeah. with not a lot of buildup. Also, He's interesting. A his feet have like pads on them, like a, a real fox. Yes. Yep. They That's do. That's kind of right. neat. <laughs> um, it's good that they managed to stick to some accuracy. Yeah. While thrusting and holding Alvin a few inches above the ground, he starts stroking Alvin's erection. Meanwhile, Alvin is completely filled with pleasure. Ah, don't stop! In the grip of Marcus's strong arms, his powerful cock, the warmth of his body, Alvin has long since put the paperwork out of his mind. As Marcus strokes and fucks him, arousal builds and builds. 
Finally, Alvin reaches climax. I'm gonna... <laughs> Should just be an animation, man. I just want to see like, that fluid animation, you know? Yep. It's too hard. <laughs> yeah. Alvin lets out a gasp as his erection twitches and convulses with pleasure, shooting jets of cum into the air in front of him. His, his whole body freezes up as he feels Marcus twitch inside of him at the same time, filling him with warm fluid. Marcus remains stoic for the whole orgasm. When a surge of pleasure finally comes down, Marcus comes to a stop and pulls his cock out of Alvin. Alvin stumbles as soon as Marcus puts him down. That was... Told you it'd be fun. Let me have a second to catch my breath. <laughs> Alvin pauses and then speaks up again. Right, uh, are there any paper towels? <laughs> paper towels are... This they is just really a are. big paper towel advertisement. You're not telling me after you have sex, you don't grow right for the paper towels. <laughs> don't lie to me. I have a, I have a roll of paper towels everywhere I go. Yeah, just none of that case. cheap shit. Got no. bounty. Yep. Over there, how about we clean up and get this case sorted out? <laughs> so did Marcus <laughs> bring paper towels with him, or did did no. Alan just have paper towels in his office? Is this, an, is this even his office? I think this is like at the courtroom, it sounds like. Cause if it's, uh, right? It, right? It feels like it's like a back room in the courtroom. That or like sense. at the jail, maybe? Like, True. I don't know. Yeah. But so Marcus he's got... would know where the paper towels are if he's been in this room a lot. Yeah, well, this is his first case. Right. I mean, Marcus, the lion. Like, if he's oh, the lion, prisoner. yes. Yes, you're right. He absolutely would know. Yes. <laughs> Uh, sure thing. It always <laughs> ends with, like, er, sure thing. Why do they even have to include that part? I, I guess to show that they don't really want to go back to the court case. Yeah. Like, yeah. that's not the important thing anymore, you know? No. <laughs> and that's it. Now we've unlocked all. You can just, so now you can just play it. it all. You don't have to do any more games. Yeah. You'd, yeah. So, Incredible. So what do you think? What would you rate this game? If I was a furry, um, yeah. eight out of ten, yeah, nice. Could could probably jack off to see if I was into fur porn, right? As a non-furry, I would say it's like a one out of ten or a two. Like it has some interesting parts to it, but for the most part, it's just like it's total. It almost feels like fan service, or it's just like. Yeah. They like you said, they just kind of get straight to the thing. Like he's literally this is his first court case ever, and he's just like a, he's <laughs> never had sex before, and he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna let this giant lion fuck me. Like, right. Yeah, I want. I need a little bit more foreplay, you know. I need a little bit more. Uh, I feel that. Yeah, a little more build up. What do you think of the animation quality and like the art quality? The art is good. Yeah, I mean the art is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's it's like well done. There, um, I think there. It feels like there were different artists working on these because Dorm Buddies was very different art. Yeah, but it does look different. Old Flames felt like it was drawn by the same person who did Daddy's Home, but this defense attorney feels more different. It does. I, don't I know. wonder if they did like alternate, right? Or had like a whole team working on it, so it was different. Can you imagine a, a team? <laughs> a team of furry artists. <laughs> I I mean, sure, it makes sense. Like, not one person yeah. wouldn't want to do all of this. Like, that's a lot, you know. It's not even that much, though. Like, an artist, like just a regular furry artist, could probably do all of this artwork in like a week or two if they were like putting their mind to like working forty hours a week on it. You know? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's not that much art, really, because like you said, they don't animate much. Yeah, this is true. It is mostly just stills, and now like they repeat play... stills and everything. Yeah, they exactly they repeat and like, like there's only you know the number of frames they really have to do is only three per each thing we clicked on, and there right. was like what like nine like nine or ten things like yeah, I don't know, but. Either way, yeah, the art's pretty good. Now you have to do the Pride Parade one with Andy. The Pride Parade's going to be with a real furry. <laughs> oh, right. You're going to do it. Yeah, which I'll I'll do a shout-out now. If anybody is still watching this video and you identify as a furry, um, 
let me know because I would like to play this game with you and interview you and get your thoughts on uh, what, how this Shades game feels for you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it seems like you're getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. You Have you unlocked <laughs> all the achievements? I, I don't think there's achievements in this game. That's the... There you go. There That's might the, be. The replayability just yeah. goes way down. If there are achievements, I feel like I might have seen them. Maybe once. You have to, yeah. Uh, if there are, then yeah. that's something, I guess, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That was a trip. That yeah. was, uh, <laughs> I was, I was, I just had this like base nervousness of like someone walking into my room literally <laughs> at like all time during that thing. Yeah. yeah. See, so I, I, I feel really bad because I know my parents watch my videos sometimes. Oh my God. Um, yeah. And I, I haven't, I feel like I should text them and be like, don't watch today's video. <laughs> Dude, well, it's kind of too late. There's already yeah. been. Yeah. Like this is the fourth installment, right? So it is. I think they're well aware of this. Um, they are definitely well. I aware hope they of this. don't think I'm a furry. Well, there's nothing wrong with being a furry, right? No. I'm sure your parents. I just don't want them you. to assume. You know, I'd, I'd rather sure. if I was a furry, I'd come out. And you don't want them. them buying you a fur suit for Christmas or something. Yeah, yeah. Because they think you're a furry. Right. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Next Christmas, all the gifts I get are just for <laughs> or just like foxes and dogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh man. Wow. Well, thank you for playing with me. Yeah. Uh, thanks absolutely. for thanks for getting me this game. I feel like there's a lot of other people who have benefited from watching this. You know, like to help them decide if they want to get it, mm-hmm. or just yeah. being able to see what it looks like without playing through it. Yeah. So oh, it's a good call. Yeah. It was, I think you've helped. A hundred people at least. A hundred people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Each video gets like at least a hundred views. So Oh no. <laughs> My recording stopped after two minutes. Ah oh, shit. That's I don't know okay. if that Yeah, it's probably fine. But I don't know if that was like like you reach a limit, like it will only record it stopped at exactly two minutes. Oh, maybe that's your max record time. I don't know. That's crazy. That sucks. That's so fucking weird. Eh. It's okay. I got all your audio. Okay. That's so weird. Yeah. I don't know why it just stopped. I'll put a a little picture of you in the thumbnail so people know that I'm playing with somebody at least. Okay. (laughs) That works. (laughs) All right. right. I'm just watching this, but I'll probably never watch this again. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not going to watch it either. Oh God! All right, man. Let me uh, yeah. Let me end this recording. Right, good. Whew.